Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna check out the Antminer A3. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet because this channel is all about Bitcoin mining and cryptocurrency. So we're gonna check out this rumors that we heard about the Antminer A3. It can make $500 a day? What? Well, do you guys remember the 1800s gold rush? with California where everybody started to come here and then try to get gold? Well, this is kind of similar, I would say. I remember that people that sold the equipment like axes and shovels made more money than the people who actually got gold. Hmm, interesting if this is the same. Now, don't forget guys, prices change all the time. I know for a fact this will not continue to make $500 forever, but it will make $500 or maybe a little less for a little while and this is the trick here people who get this fast from bitmain can get to mine a lot of coins and sell them or do whatever they want and have a lot of value this particular miner can mine sia or blake 2b it has 815 giga hashes of mining power to run a machine like this all you need is a power supply that supplies at least 1300 watts i use 1600 you know me you also need an ethernet cable any internet will suffice. I mean, any speed will work with this. Now let's go ahead and unbox this miner. I'm gonna use my wallet knife because why not? It's cool. It folds like that. Now I can open boxes without using some weird stuff. Just using a knife. Always cut away from you, okay guys? Do not cut yourself. As always, it comes with instructions and it tells you that you have uh, somewhat of a warranty um, for a few months uh, from Bitmain. It comes in a very nice protective form, like always, it always comes the same way. They actually did a good job with the packaging. I have not had any problems just yet, knock on wood. Every time I get a new ant miner, I always make sure there is no heat sink loose. So heat sinks, they have a lot of small ones, maybe hundreds of them. And if one of them is loose, the whole thing might not work. So yeah, that's normal. What you hear is it's just, um, it's just uh, the boards are just moving and that's okay. But if I hear any little metal noise or anything like that, I will not uh, start the machine. I will first find the issue take out the mining card um, that doesn't work or has an issue and then only mine on the ones that work and send the one that doesn't work back to Bitmain. So we have two fans here. As you can see, they're very, very powerful, very loud fans. And we have an ethernet connection right here. No, it doesn't support Wi-Fi, guys. And it also has power connections. This is a regular VGA or PCI power. So three each board, each hashing board, and then we have one for the main board that controls the whole unit. All we need to do now is install the power supply, install the ethernet connection, and let it run and set up the mining pools. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So as you can see here, I have three ant miners right here. There is a two S9s and one L3 Plus. Unfortunately, I had to turn them off for you guys so you guys can hear me while I'm making this video. If I would let this on, you would not be able to hear me. So I'm gonna actually take out one of my S9s and mine the A3 because it's more profitable. So unfortunately, I will not be able to mine it for now because I am maxed out on power in my house, more than that, and my house will probably burn down. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug all the power cables for my current S9 and I'm gonna switch it and plug in all the power cables to my new A3. And of course, the ethernet cable will also be disconnected and connected back to the A3. So here's our new A3. Ah, let's plug in all the power plugs. You guys better subscribe because my mining rigs are not on right now. I forgot to mention that I'm using a 1600 watt EVGA power supply for this as the same for the S9 above me and the L3 Plus right there. The L3 Plus only needs 1000 watts, so it has 1000 watts power supply. You're also gonna need a jumper for the power supply to make sure it turns on. And now we have everything set. 
All we have to do now is plug in the Ethernet cable. First I'm going to turn on the A3 and then we'll see how much noise it makes and then we're going to turn on all the rest of the mining rigs. Yep, that's how loud it is with one machine. Now let's go ahead and turn all of them on. That is so loud. I'm going to go to my living room to show you how to set it up now. Okay, it's ready and it's mining about 835 gigahashes. Not bad. We managed to set up SIA Mining, which is siamining.com. And to do so, you need a SIA coin address. To get a SIA coin address, I registered to hitbtc.com. It was very easy to register. And then I got a deposit address. I copied that deposit address and I use it on the miner configuration. I put it on the worker address. Now the nice hash is not quite ready yet to mine on with the SIA, so we're gonna have to wait until we'll be able to use nice hash. So for now, we're gonna use SIA mining. Now, every time you get about 500 SIA coins, it will deposit to your account. I think it takes about eight hours. I calculated how much money we're gonna make with this miner and the numbers looks pretty good so i calculated about 15 coins per five minutes which is about 204 coins an hour now that changes all the time and i've been waiting for a little bit to see those numbers coming in you make eight dollars an hour about 200 dollars a day and a maximum of 5,800 bucks a month but remember more and more people are receiving their miners in the mail and hashing it just like i do so the difficulty level goes up and our profits goes down so i believe this will keep going down all week maybe two weeks until everybody get their miners and everybody start running it it will probably go much lower than $200 a day but with $200 a day I paid about $2,500 it will take me not too long to pay off my miner maybe two weeks that's pretty fast after that it's all profit so maybe it's not bad if you are fast to get it and you can mine 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 quickly and then you make your money back and from there hopefully you continue making money and then if not you just have to sell your equipment and buy something better as you can see every coin worth about four cents so you have to pay attention to it because prices go up and down with the coin price and if the coin price goes up maybe it's better to keep the coin than convert it my strategy is to convert about half or more of the coins that I mine every day to Bitcoin Cash because I think Bitcoin Cash is really, really powerful. But of course, I'm gonna keep some of those coins. Maybe I'll use those coins for storage because it provides you online encrypted storage of files. It can be very useful anyways. Why not keep a few coins as well? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about the Antminer A3. Will it survive? Will it last? Will it continue making us profit? Let us know. Also, I do a giveaway almost every video. This video, I'm gonna give away some Bitcoin Cash that I mined today. So don't forget to add your Bitcoin Cash address in there so I can send it to you. Don't forget to check out my new videos over here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys and see you in the next time. Bye-bye.